Hey everyone, and welcome to week two on the HeroCraft server. I'm up really high for some reason. <laughs> Just came back on up here. Um, today, 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 today. Um, it's the start of the second week of the server being up and populated with people and whatnot. So, um, well, week two that we've been playing properly anyway. So if we just sort of looked around for a little bit before then. We have Why Not Cairn online, but I'm not on chat because um, he's only been on here for a couple of days. And so I thought I'd let him continue doing his stuff instead of me talking about shit with him. Um, he is on the team speak as well though. Um, and yeah, everything's looking a bit different from last time. Obviously it's been a week. So there's an extra tower. It has absolutely nothing in it. Social Circle made it and yeah. The bridge looks nice though. Um, yep. Ah. Stop being stupid. Damn keyboard. Um, we've been to the nether. And managed to get some stuff without dying. <laughs> I'm just going to get this stuff out of my way. Um, I've made diamond armor. Because power armor is ridiculously expensive on this one. I made the actual armor. But it's the upgrades that get really expensive. So I'm going to wait until I get a quarry to do all that sort of stuff. I made a farm and then wrecked it. By jumping on it and neglecting it. So there you go. <laughs> That's the joys of that one. Um, just so you all know. We're using Feed the Beast. Unleashed 1.1.3 um, It'll probably say that in the description or the title But I thought I should just let people know in video as well um, We've got Tinker's Construct Okay, I'm making the mining Tinker's Construct I wanted to make the strongest you can get without another I don't know what you were just trying to say, Ken um, But yeah, we've got the awesomeness that is Tinker's Construct um, <laughs> I've forgotten his name, Brownstone, there we go it starts off like looking like gravel, and then you chisel it into being nice with a Tinker's Construct chisel. Ooh, another mod. Um, obsidian plates. Only people can stand on them. Mobs can't. I just got normal ones on the inside. There's not going to be mobs any inside my house. Hence the iron doors, because um, mobs tend to attack very, very frequently on this one. Um, we've been to the Twilight Forest on Mistcraft. Not Mistcraft. Um, using the Twilight Forest mod actually then we've used a miscraft thing to get back because we had a random portal spawn which is weird and apparently shouldn't happen have we got any food in here? yes thank you venison Twilight Foresty just gonna eat that uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah there we go it's all there but it's really expensive you need like tin gears and the wire is now ridiculously expensive so I couldn't be bothered with that um all of my ores and shit. Da, 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 da. Um, heads. I'm using a Tinker's Construct weapon called a cleaver that has a higher chance of cleaving off enemies' heads. So I'm getting a nice collection of them together. Which is pretty snazzy. We've got some skeleton over there. And if I go upstairs, we've got the enchanting room. Go upstairs again. We've got my big ass smeltery for Tinker's Construct stuff. And the bridge. The bridge. And you go upstairs again. We hit my Formcraft room. I've actually been doing Formcraft, which is interesting to say the least. Um, it's very, very expensive as though you go through like loads of different stuff. You have to put it in here and research it, which will just um, research certain aspects to try and get this out. Um, and it'll obviously destroy the item eventually as well so it all builds up after a while but you can craft awesome stuff like this which will just um, I'll blast that with it's like a really long range laser thing it's awesome um, we've got a cauldron which you can like chuck water in it'll boil and then you make stuff in here I'm not gonna go into it all properly but I might do it eventually if people want me to but Right now, that will be fine. Um, Tinker's Construct. We've got the Tinker's Construct thing here, which we've got a knapsack, which is like in a backpack, but you don't have to put it in your inventory like the other backpacks. So we've got the hammer, which does a 3x3 three three hole in the wall, which is pretty awesome. It just does it on like stone and ores. Well, some ores, some ores it doesn't. And then we've got the, um, the big axe thing. I forget the actual name of it which will do 
an entire tree or a three by three area of wood. So that's pretty awesome. And the spade, which obviously just has three by three dirt. We've got my pick, which is like beasted completely. Um, and on my wrench, just wrenching shit. Uh, my wand is there. Um, the chisel for making awesome looking blocks. And if we go down, I love my quick way down. Um, oh yeah, last episode. I think I was last episode. I was trying to make a um, book, linking book. You now have to put ink into this thing called an inkwell. And um, I think it's called an inkwell. I would pick it up, but I don't really want to break it. Um, but yeah, you put ink and paper into there and there. Well, a bottle of ink. Sorry, my phone just went off. And um, on the other side, you'll get the empty bottles. And this will all go black. And you can pull out a linking page, which you then just put leather with. And it'll make a linking book, which is all pretty snazzy and apparently you can put like other stuff in here to make the color change and it'll have chances of stuff happening like I don't understand how fully how it works yet but I'll tell you guys about it when I do but in here we've got my basement this is also a mine shaft that will just get on there you can see lots of 3x3 three three holes um, sugarcane is there I don't know why it was built downstairs but why the hell not um, if you go in here it's all of the um, yeah berries I can't see and I can't bother to put a torch up right. actually I do want to put a torch up excuse me there we go I wanted those experience berries uh, I'm going to take you as well and get myself out of there we've got obsidian pressure plates on the other side of that as well just in case then we come over here we've got my coke oven which produces cold coke when you put normal coke in there and if you put wood in there it'll make charcoal which also produces a liquid which is getting build craft piped into here which is creosote oil which is used for either like um obviously i cannot remember the word for oh my god how have i completely forgotten the name of the mod that these tanks and everything come from which is pretty embarrassing but yeah we got more brownstone here because i like to run between my machines and it's obviously pretty damn awesome stuff anyway. I got my rolling machine. Um, and my pulverizer is now linked up to two um, powered furnaces. So no more coal or anything in there. It just leaches straight off of my fuel. Um, two induction smelters. Two more furnaces. The liquid transposer. And the magma crucible for making these lovely energy conduits. Which you just melt redstone down. And put it with a blank energy conduit thing and that I'll make that up for you and then if we go over here we've got my dartcraft force engines which you put the little force gem things that we are finding tons of these things into they turn it into a liquid somehow and then that will produce energy for you throttle hmm fair enough um, yeah then I'm just pumping that straight into here my energy cell. It's going down by one constantly. I'm not doing anything, am I? Either that or something's using power to stay online. Hmm. I reckon rolling machine may have to get moved. Um, let me get my thing. Excuse me, rolling machine. I think you're using power. It could be you. It could be something else. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell now because obviously I've just made stuff. So yeah, I've got two more of the big tanks. For some other reason, they won't connect, which is annoying because I wanted to use them for um, liquids that obviously some of the machines will benefit from and some of the forestry machines when I get onto that. So I'd like to have most of my power come from stuff done by forestry, which is like biogas, stuff like that so that's my plan for energy stuff like that uh, <laughs> just stuff like that I don't care about anything else Bow. Um, so that's what the excavator does when you're on stairs um, so yeah if we go back in here I think I'm running out of stuff to actually show you guys today um, it's dark out I don't really want to go out in the dark let's go upstairs I'll show you my phenomenon how far I've got with... Please stop clicking on things. 
some new cool stuff in here that I'm going to making yet. You can make gaseous glowstone, which will light up the air around you without using a torch. Um, and gaseous tenabre, which will then darken it, which is all pretty cool. Um, what's the other new thing I unlocked? Where are you? Um, the transvector interface. This one is very cool. Um, the thing is, there's only six sides to a block. Dial 20. Um, basically, this allows you to expand the sides on an item. You'll link it to like a machine or something, and you'll place it down, and the sides of the transvector interface will act out as the sides of extra sides for the other thing, which is all pretty nifty. Um, what other new stuff have we got? Do, do, do. Smoky quartz, which I haven't made any of. I don't really know what it's for, to be fair with you. Um, bottle of rainwater. Oh, I didn't even know I had that one. There you go. Um, new, 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 new stuff. Uh, you can try to transmute pretty much any of this stuff. I don't know if that's new, but it's there. Um, bees and magic. New. No. Arcane levitator allows you to fly. Water jars. Oh yeah, cryogenic globe. I don't even know what this does yet. After a study of the element of cold, you manage to devise a globe of pure cold. This globe can be utilized by left clicking on a living being. This won't hurt them. Upon doing so, the globe is consumed and the living beam gets possessed with cryogenic energy, preventing it from naturally despawning. That's really strange. I can't see the benefit of that, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I don't know why that's that, but there you go. Uh, view from on top of the bridge. So yeah, we've got pretty good stuff done in a week. There's a creeper over there. If only I had a bow. Might make the Tinker's Construct bow later on. Can I hit him? <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I'll give you a new update next week. Um, I'm still looking for anybody, if anybody wants to come on. And take care. I'll see you later. Bye.